Video clips recorded the panic in a crowded section of Deep Ellum where a weekend shooting injured two people. Police released surveillance video of the shooting and images of a suspect who ran off into the crowd. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn spoke to witnesses who recorded their own video. Lynn Ann. Clarice, police were able to release those surveillance images just hours after the shooting, but so far, no arrests have been announced. I looked around and like people were like jumping to the ground and I think someone was yelling like get down, everyone get down, everyone get down. Cell phone video from witnesses shows customers inside Cafe Brazil in Deep Ellum hitting the floor after hearing several gunshots outside just after 1 a.m. early Sunday morning. After like six or seven shots, um, I'd say there is at least, I heard at least 10 total. Nate Wade and his friend Taylor Chilton, who just moved to Dallas a couple weeks ago, say it all happened so fast they didn't get a good look at the shooter or what started it all. When I got on the ground, I was like, "Yo, like, what the, what the, what, the, what is going on? Like, what are we, what's, what are we, what's really going on?" Police tell Fox 4 it started with a disturbance among several people. Someone pulled a gun and started shooting. You can see on surveillance video released by DPD, the crowd starts to scatter, and it appears there are possibly multiple shooters returning fire near a dark truck as they run away. We saw the police cars come in, and then a couple officers ran up to someone right outside the window. The two people who were shot were taken to nearby Baylor Hospital, where they were reported stable. Police also released these surveillance images of a possible suspect wearing a red shirt and Nike shorts with white tennis shoes. The Deep Ellum Foundation again has worked closely with the DPD in installing uh, surveillance throughout the uh, entertainment district and, and that footage is actually helping um, hopefully be able to um, capture the individual that uh, um, was responsible for the shootings. Jesse Moreno's council district includes Deep Ellum. With 25 cameras installed so far, the Deep Ellum Foundation has a goal of getting 50 in the neighborhood. There is plans to add more. Uh, every weekend they're adding more cameras, and the Deep Ellum Foundation uh, has a command center on Main Street um, that has uh, pretty coverage of the whole uh, uh, district, and we do share that with um, uh, with the DPD personnel. At some point or another, something needs to be done. Um, if they want people to continue to go to Deep Ellum in the evenings and feel uh, feel safer and less shocked about uh, the weekly or biweekly shooting. And the city has also been working at uh, shutting down some of the streets in the neighborhood to vehicle traffic so that people, visitors, and first responders can get in and out easily. Councilman Moreno says that the city's transportation department will be at the next neighborhood safety meeting to discuss those plans further. Therese? All right, you'll keep us posted. Lynn and Wynn live in Deep Ellum. Thank you.